Ahoy mates and happy Friday. Hope you had a great week. Time for another blind bag ship. So let's get started. And of course, you know, I'm going to choose my other Disney adorable little house. You get five inside and we're kind of counting down to the holidays there. And then ooh, next up, let's grab our mini verse. These are the make it mini foods. They're kind of like a little DIY resin, but look at how beautiful these little miniatures look. And then on this side, let's grab this little candy pop little mini doll. There's 14 different ones to collect. Ooh, let's see. Let's grab something large. We have this Cutitos Carnival Eatos. That's a cool plushie. And then one more item. I'm feeling like some remands. Let's go over here. And I have Dreaming Case number three from the Pokemon series. Those are just absolutely gorgeous. And look at how sweet little sleeping Pikachu is. <laughs> Everything's loaded into the Jolly Roger. I have Blooper and our captain, and we have a lot of big items. I'm gonna save the mini verse one for last because that's gonna that's gonna take some time. So we'll start on this side with our Q Tito's Carnival Eatos, and this is the jumbo plush. Or I should say it's a large plush. It's not jumbo. It's it's the large regular size. <laughs> okay. Very cute. Oh, looks like we have a little cone. Oh, who are you? It's a bird. I think it's a bird. Oh my goodness, that's cute. <laughs> Look at the little glittery feet. And I absolutely love the bright rainbow colors, the little wings. And he has a little ice cream cone hat. Okay, this is adorable. I have a very cute ice cream blanket. And this little guy is a parrotito. And his name is Waffleito. How cute. And he's so yummy. Birthday's on May 31st. And the so yummies are this level of rarity. So one step below the commons. Or above the commons, I should say. You know what I meant. <laughs> Love the little giraffe. And the carnival Eatos are scented. And usually I get like a vanilla scent. But this one smells almost like fruity. It almost smells like sherbet. There's like fruity, but like that hint of ice cream. It smells really good. And I do not think I own a bird Cutitos. So that's very cute. It might be going to Mr. Bird Love. <laughs> Next up, let's grab our adorable little candy pop capsule. I've opened one in the past and they are like candy transformers and they're really cool. They did a great job. I found these at Five Below, which is even better. Also has very cute packaging. And let's grab our figure. Oh no, this is our first double. She's a cutie. So we have this little apple candy and then you flip it over and twist, and there is our little doll. And then they can tuck back in. Voila. Inside you get the collector's guide as well as this little coloring page, which is a cute touch. Love the star. And then you get stickers. Next up, let's grab our Disney Dorables. I've been open one of these each blind bag ship for the month of December. We have one more to go, one more before the holidays, and they're just a lot of fun. I also did a big opening on these two. Window number one. And yes, we have Elsa. I definitely needed this one so she looks amazing and she is a common I'm still on the hunt for Olaf as well that would complete the frozen set on the checklist number two. Oh, we have classic Minnie Mouse number three We have the Toy Story alien. Oh, that's awesome. I think he's a rare. He's one of the last ones I needed for Toy Story as well. So yes, the green is a rare. So that's super lucky and he's so cute. Door number four, which I always tend to punch in. Ooh, 
We have Prince Charming from Cinderella. And then our last door is always lucky with the cute little gumdrops up top. And oh wow, we have Maleficent from Sleeping Beauty. I was gonna say it felt big because of her horns and she has the little cowl in back, her staff. They did such a good job on such a little mini figure. Yes. Let me show you the checklist because we, we just hit three that we needed. <laughs> okay, so here's my checklist. We actually only need three more characters to complete this set. We have completed Sleeping Beauty thanks to Maleficent. We've completed Aristocats from a previous video. We just completed our Toy Story set with Finding the Green Alien. We need Tamatoa from Moana. Ah, so we need him and he's an ultra rare. We need Olaf from Frozen. He's just a common, but he's eluded me, cute little Olaf. We completed the Tangled set, the Cinderella set, and then the last one we need is um, Friend Owl from Bambi, and he's one of the special edition flocks. And then we completed the Mickey and Friends set. So three more to go, one more box left. Oh my goodness, stay tuned for next week's blind, box, uh, blind bag ship. <laughs> that was a super lucky box, so exciting. Okay, so let's move on to another miniature. We'll set you aside, but let's grab our Remint blind box, one of the OG miniatures that just go precede my channel. And then we have the Dreaming Case for Sweet Dreams Series 3 from the Pokemon Collection. How adorable is that? Really hoping for Pikachu? Or, um, is it Ponita? I think it's Ponita, yeah. Galarian. Okay. So inside, oh my goodness, our luck continues. No joke, blind bag ship. You're so lucky with your pirate vibe. Okay, so we have Galarian Ponita. Let me get her out. <laughs> Her base comes with the psychic energy symbol and then her pillow has this gorgeous star galaxy pattern. The stars actually do have gold metallic paint. And then here is our little sleeping figure. I like how her mane is her pillow because some of them come with like little separate pillows you can place them on but she's, she's floofy enough to provide her own sleeping area. That is so cute. Look at the hooves. So you can just place her in there like so. That is precious. Oh, there's such a like serenity about this. And then we have the gorgeous lid that goes on. And it's cute because it has its own almost like terrarium piece or display case. Keeps your little miniatures dust free. And last up for this video is our Miniverse Make It Mini Food Capsule from Series 1. I'm really hoping for a plate dish or a pie dish. I've opened only two thus far, but they're, they're really nicely done. And of course, they're a resin DIY. Okay, so we have all our little pieces. I do like how it comes with a table to display your miniatures on. I saw someone on Instagram already make little resin ornaments um, out of these little mini foods, which is just amazing. Handy readme first guide with the QR code to a video, and then you have the checklist which has the recipes on back. And one of you mentioned to, to cut out your recipe when you get it. That makes sense because there's a lot of steps that you don't want to have to use this whole thing to look at. But I would love to get one of the pies or one of the little breakfast dishes. But we shall see. We shall see. So we have a doily and you get a lot of different blind bags, including your tongs, which definitely use those. So we'll start here. some blueberries look at how cute all individually done it's the happy sun farm which I love that theme so definitely a new one. Oh, it looks like we have this little pie display <gasps> yes okay I'm really excited this is our resin so it's a lemon cream but this is the resin piece 
do not eat and you can remove that part so you can keep the bottle. Oh, this is our base. So we have a tart crust. I love the packaging. So cute. Again, even if you don't assemble these, these are like really nicely done miniatures. Oh, that one flew out, but here's our lemon slices. So it looks like we have the lemon tart. Those look so cool. And I think this is gonna be your utensil, which we have a fork. Here is what our finished product should look like. So I like how it's a little recipe. And then here's the steps you follow. And it looks like we just need to seal the resin once. Oh, okay. Because my previous two were like the drinks. So we had to seal it a couple times. So just a one time thing for 10 minutes in the sun and UV lights work as well. Okay, so we have all our pieces laid out. We have our directions. It looks like they want to put the doily down first, but I realize it doesn't like close with that. So we're just going to skip that. And then here is our little tart crust. And that's where we're going to need to pour our resin into. Definitely looks like lemon cream. That's really cool. And you can use a toothpick to spread out the resin evenly coating the bottom of the tart. Now it's time to decorate. Look how cute the little lemons are. And it looks like they kind of layered it, which looks adorable. And I hope I can get it to look as good as that. <laughs> Okay, it looks like they used eight lemons in their picture, so I did squeeze in eight, which looks really cute. And then now it's time for the blueberries. Oh no, I got a little sticky. Okay, I really like how the placement of all those turned out. So now we need to set it out in the sun for 10 minutes. And here is my lemon tart all sealed. I was super excited how it turned out. I ran up the stairs and almost died. So I <laughs> hope you appreciate that. And the resin seals so nicely. None of the pieces fall, everything's secured. And this has totally won me over. The, the mini verse is really fun to make. I can see this being extremely popular with crafts and DIY little miniatures. Wow. So we can put that inside. And voila, look at the quality of that. So realistic. And in all fairness, I think the flat dishes are easier. If you get a drink one, they're a little tricky because your items sink in so fast. It's like, it's like a tar pit <laughs> and I, I didn't know what to do, but this one, but this is my, now my third and you definitely get the hang of how to use resin. I love it so much. Here's another look at everything we opened today. Feel free to let me know which item was your favorite. As for me, we had so much luck, so much luck. We got a bird, we got Ponita. We have three new figures added to our collection, but I think my favorite is going to be our Miniverse Lemon Tart. Those are such high quality miniatures and the fact that you get to make and assemble it and decorate it yourself is just a lot of fun. I could again see these just being so popular, um, especially for collectors. So that'll do it for this week's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And I want to thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And I hope to see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.